Thank you to Jack Wills for sponsoring today's podcast. I've only just been away to Ibiza with them. I was wearing their summer collection. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out because I look absolutely bomb. Anyway, on the next few podcasts, we're going to be talking about everything that went down. Uh, and when I say everything that went down, there's a lot. There's a few cheating scandals. So anyway, if you want to check out the new summer collection, check it out and make sure you stay tuned for the next few episodes. Thank you again to Jack Wills for sponsoring. Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Uh, this week, I am not blackout drunk yet. Uh, if you saw how much vodka is in these glasses, you would question why we're here. Anyway, today's guest is only Sharon Gafka. Woo! Say hello. Say hello. All right. Um, to be fair, I was thinking I'm only here for the amount of vodka that's <laughs> yeah, in these yeah. glasses. <laughs> we forced her with alcohol. So that's great. Um, and you've done boxing today. So if anyone thinks Sharon's shaking, weak, it's near just, death. You're just so intimidating, Grace. That's what it is. I'm like... Yeah, I have that effect on people a lot, actually. Uh, they okay. have to do classes before seeing me. So they feel up to scratch. Listen, we still haven't <laughs> had our fight outside Sainsbury's yet. So if you want to oh, go, my... I've been training. No, <laughs> our manager... Love you, Hannah. Um, <laughs> when Sharon... But we both got... Uh, what was it? Was it on the Daily Mail? Mine was the Daily Mail. Mine was... Was mine the Daily Mail? The Daily Mail. Oh, was mine the sun? We had two different papers. Either way, catfishes. we both had the down Brilliant. and outs uh, calling us catfishes. So we decided we were like, we'll have a scrap uh, to see who'd be the number one catfish. And it just never happened. Do you know some people actually thought that was real? No, yeah, of course. I got loads of DMs being like, what's the beef with you and Grace? And I went, what? What beef? <laughs> what should you saying about me on a TikTok? <laughs> I was thinking, I was looking up Grace's TikTok. I was like, <laughs> if she starts beefing me, maybe I'm going to have to fight her. <laughs> Online wars with HLD. Love that. I reckon we can get our first HLD boxing match. Oh my God. Maybe we should do that. Because now L Brooks and... Um, what's her name? L Brooks and... <laughs> Is that, your, is that your boxing El name? Born <laughs> stand up for two. <laughs> El, well, their fight got cancelled, so we need to do it. Even though you'd win, but I'd still be in it for the money, so it's fine. Do you know what I mean? To be fair, I'd lose for camera on camera for the money, so it's all right. Don't worry about we it. We both just wouldn't fight. <laughs> we stood there like, hee -hee -hee. I'm here to get paid. <laughs> yeah, I'm in here for the bucks. Thank you. To be fair, though, when I said we should have a boxing fight, Hannah just went, <laughs> well, definitely not. The side <laughs> like, Okay, fine. Fine. Um, so most people, obviously you've done a lot more than this, we'll get on to that. Uh, but most people would know you off Love Island. Yeah, how unfortunate. How unfortunate. <laughs> what season were you? You were on Jake Liberty's yeah, last and all year. of that. Oh, it was last, last year? Last year. That's, that's got to be great. It's not even been a year yet since we were on it. What? Yeah. So in like two weeks, it'll be a year. What do you think of the new Love Island? I love it. Love it. I wasn't sure when the cast was announced. Are you but can sue. Love you. I said that she's my favourite to win. She's a legend. I love Legend. Her. She doesn't give a shit. <laughs> she just not give a shit. Uh, respect to her. Has to be done. I mean, I also didn't give a shit, but that's because she, there's more boys to fancy on her season. <laughs> yeah, no, your season was a little bit dry. <laughs> Men-wise, not, not content-wise. Content-wise, spot on. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to bite my tongue I'm... before I get in trouble. Like, <laughs> We'll get to that. Um, so, Love Island, you were a bombshell? No, or were I was you an OG. original? Fucking I hell. told o ITV I'm either an OG or I'm not in. Can you do that? No, well, but you I did. Can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did. Yeah, so yeah. Can. They were like, oh, we're well, not sure where you're gonna go and um in the show until like we've decided. And I went, Well, I'm either going in as original or you can just or count not. me out. How did you get scouted for it? I didn't, I applied. Oh, did you? Yeah. I never hear about people getting on that applied nowadays, so that's quite refreshing. We are very few, very far in few between. Far between. I think there was three people from my series that applied. Who were the others, would you not know? I think Tyler right. applied and Georgia. Fucking hell. Oh, I love Georgia. I love Georgia. I, I think everyone else was screen. scouted. Oh, she was only in there for five minutes. And yeah. she was so funny. She was massively underrated on that show. 100%. When she came out, everyone was like, oh, you're actually really funny. Like, they didn't give you that airtime. But they didn't give you that airtime either. That's because I wasn't interested. I was just sitting there eating cornflakes, like, gaining weight by the minute. <laughs> when I came out and the, they were like, oh, Medic's going to weigh you now. I was like, fucking hell, maybe not. <laughs> Don't. Can we Skip not? Yeah. We can just add 
to what I was when I came in. Yeah, but you developed diabetes in the villa, basically. Oh, no, because the boys ate all the cookies, so no. Really? Do you have nice food in the villa? So I've heard on Too Hot to Handle, they have like fucking French toast and shit. What the fuck? Yeah. Did you get who French budgeted, toast? Who, who does the financing for Too Hot to Handle? Because I want to have a word. It's Netflix, I know. Oh, okay. Well, Sorry, clearly that's where all the money's gone, isn't it? Because we had with like Aldi branded cornflakes. I think I'd have rather had that. We had chicken that was dry mm. and Uncle Ben's rice. Well, that's what it tasted like anyway. You basically went to uni again. <laughs> this is why I didn't go to uni. <laughs> Did you not go to uni? Nah. Fuck off. I studied night school. Okay, now that makes sense because you do more girls. That makes sense because you're a fucking nerd. (laughs) You fucking nerd. (laughs) Our first nerd on the pod. Woo. Sorry. (laughs) Right. (laughs) There was a lot of bits, getting back Mm. to what I was saying, a lot of bits that were cut out on your bits. Like you spoke about your sexuality on it. Didn't even bother. Nah, of course not. Didn't even bother. Yeah, but what I say is we should have a bisexual love island. Do you know how good that would be? I think it'd be lit. You'd be shagging everywhere. You would have no idea where anyone's going to go. No, exactly. The drama would be unmatched. Why do you think they cut that out? I just, well, he- Love Island's heterosexual, isn't it? This is true, but do you remember Sophie and in one of, I think Katie? it was se- Yeah, Katie. Yeah. They coupled up together on the, se- was it season three or something? Season two? Season three? It was like 2016. It was God knows fucking when. hot a minute ago. Um, but yeah, they coupled up together. Yeah, and they just sent more boys home. Fuck them. Fuck. That's fucking send exactly the boys what home. should have happened. I wish we could have done that. I would have definitely been game for I would have fucking done it as well. I'd have been like, come here. Are you can sue. Yeah, I would have coupled up with that can sue as well. No, she would really intimidate me though in the bedroom. I'd be like, get away from me. <laughs> I don't know. I reckon she's soft like, in the soft. bedroom. Do you think? I think so. Did you see the way she was crawling? She's not. I saw her on that balcony. Oh, oh I missed that episode. <laughs> I missed that episode. That was so, I loved it. It was crawling on the balcony, sneaking kisses. <laughs> She's dribbling. It's got to her. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 it's the thought of Ekansu crawling. Jesus Christ. It's on my boob as well. It's five minutes looked, in. Look, I told you it was going to happen, didn't I? <laughs> look like I'm lactating now on camera. Fucking great. Good start. So do you still speak to any of your cast from your season? Um, more girls than boys. Mm. Um, I still speak to like Faye, Kaz, Abby, Lib. You speak to quite a lot. Yeah. Because there's a lot of Love Islanders that once they come off the show, they don't really speak to anyone. But to be fair though, I don't speak to that many because in my season there was 37 people. I don't remember there being that much. Yeah, 37. We well, think about it, Casa Moore's an additional 10. Hell? So, oh yeah, because everyone fucked off in Casa Amor. Yeah, I mean? so yeah, like there was thirty-seven people. No, my I'm season. sorry. So actually, I don't speak to that many if you think about it. But like in comparison to all the others, I do. Would you say you're closer with? Who would you say you're closest with? Faye. Oh, you are. Hundred percent. Yeah. We were close on the show, to be fair. But I did tell her that when she first walked in, I thought I'm gonna fucking hate this book more than. I feel like Faye does have like you know when people sometimes have like resting bitch faces. You'd think maybe you wouldn't get on with them. Yeah, but I have that as well. Maybe you that's do, why we do get on yeah. so well. Both are staring at each bit. other like <laughs> this is this is our I love you face, but we're just like staring each other down like, <laughs> like I hate you. Saw the Botox. <laughs> <laughs> Any beef from your season? Any tea? Any beef? Oh, I just can't. I'm too lazy for drama. Really? <gasps> people really? Got, if people, really? Really? If people got beef with me, then that's that's on their. They're that's beefing on, on their own. Yeah. They can beef on their own in the DMs. I I can't even got the time and the energy to be really? honest. Really. I'd rather do something else. Do you know time. what though? No, it, once you get out of the villa, who gives a shit? Well, yeah, I'm not going to see you. Like, no, apart from maybe at like events, but you, events are so big nowadays, you don't even have to see them really. I don't think I've seen any of them. Really? I need to stop saying, what is going on? Really? 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 Oh, no, Take now because you're going to get me starting beef with people I don't need to have beef with. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. But I just, I feel like you never hear about the drama in like Love Islander worlds because it's all very hush hush. I just. Is, are you sure? Yeah, I never hear about it. I'm trying to think if there is drama There now. we go, you proved me point. <laughs> no, I definitely know there is. <laughs> if I dig hard enough, if I sit there long enough like this, I'll definitely find some, but I just, I think most people just keep their distance. It's not worth like, because other like followers yeah. start getting involved, don't they? And then oh, it's just not. Followers thrive off it, don't Yeah, they? so there's just no, to me, there's just no point. But they're good at it. They're good at it. off it. You know, like finding stuff out. Like, you wouldn't have said it, and they're like, I heard that they fell out four months ago over the breakup, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, how did you know that? Sometimes I love hearing stuff about myself. 
this all lies? Yeah, I'm like, what the hell is this? When like, did that happen? Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, sure. If that's what, if that's what, if, if that's what you know, Instagram people say happened, it must have happened. No, do you know what is so funny? I was looking at um, like before you came on like articles. I was just searching articles about you, see if there's any like anything interesting. You it's can so say that you Google me on the regular. It's all right. Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> that's my version of porn. Um, but <laughs> it was just so much random photos. shit that was definitely not true. And I was like, what? Now I'm interested. Yeah, no, I have screenshots on my phone. I'll show okay, you after. Show me later. It was really <laughs> random. I was like, that's going in the uh, basket. Thank you. I did um, hear from my friends that a lot of people when I was in the show made TikToks claiming to be my ex. <gasps> like, really? People I've never met before. I'm saying it again. Sorry. They, they were quite funny. The like they, they saved some of the videos and they were so funny. I was like, I've never met this person before in my life. Have you ever, that's so random though, because obviously you're going to see that when you come out, like surely. Quite a lot of them deleted it before I Ooh, came out. That's so nice. So I was like, oh, mm, okay. Fucking hell. Do you know what though? I feel like, did you ever watch, um, you know when, I always do it when Love Island starts, you do a first impressions of everyone. Yeah. Did you get a lot of those? I definitely did one as well. Um, do you know what it is? Tell I me. think it's because I look posh and I sound posh. The people are like, so people automatically you. assume that I shag Tories for a, in my spare time. Do you? I might have done it once, <laughs> but I was eighteen, so you know we can let we can let it slide. <laughs> we can let it slide. We're not political, back but then. like you know that they, they <laughs> that's what that's what they think. That's their opinion of me. So you know that's all the first. We've cleared the air. Sharon does not shag Tories on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Only weekdays. <laughs> on days that end with wise. Yeah, I got a nod. So it's true. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Um, we're moving on from fans find out everything. So mm. there was a certain person. He wasn't on your series, was he? Oh, no, he wasn't on my series. No. Because um, he, should we give him a nickname? We can give him a nickname. I feel like you're more creative with nicknames. Let's call him Man Who Does Not Tan. Okay. And I'm in the same boat, so no one can come for me for that. Ginger skin. Messed up. Um, so he has quite a serious job mm. like you. Mm. Um, and there was a lot of speculation with him um, because obviously he was made up. There's always one person on the Love Island series. There's always one. And they're made up to be like a really nice, you know, why won't, you know, people, girls don't really go for him. He's too nice, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then loads of like allegations came out about them like cheating and stuff. <laughs> Do you know what? Like, we all know nice guys are never nice guys. I think well, they are until you reject them, right? Yeah. Well, oh my God, yeah. They're like, you fucking whore. And it's like, yeah, didn't want you anyway. Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> ugly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? Yeah. We had some, uh, we had a nice interaction. Did you? Well, when I say nice. <laughs> the sarcasm was there. Mm. Have you noticed I've moved on to did you instead of really? Yeah, I don't know if that's any better to be honest. I was gonna let you say it. Go um, yeah, no, we had a nice interaction. <laughs> Invited me out a couple of times. Or like, out, out, or like, out. I mean, I don't even know how to describe this out because I don't even know what. Mm, to a party, okay, but nice. To like an exclusive over 18s only I party. I really do hope it's not De Niro's nappy nights. What in God's name is that? Yeah, that's actually a bit niche. It was just a local club in my area that did it like under 18. <laughs> I just don't know why I thought you'd get that, Daenerys. Um, it was something like, can I even say this? He was like, you don't look the type of girl that goes for guys like me. Man oh. that doesn't tan. And I was like, I was, I was like, where did you get where did you get that yeah. assumption from? And he was like, Love Island. And I was like, oh yeah, because <laughs> Those three weeks yeah. of my life dictate the other 26 years, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, we, I was invited to a naughty party. Well, he invited me to a naughty party with him oh. because of um, my bisexual revelation. Was it? Sorry, when you say naughty party, you're talking about a sex party. Yeah. <gasps> what? I didn't realise this. Because apparently bisexual girls are always up for going to sex parties. Sex parties. Can you just quickly explain what happens at a sex party? I've never been. Well, people just do the business with like each other. Is it like a swingers thing or do you watch someone do it? I think you can either participate or you can watch. Really? Yeah. So they were like, basically they said that, you know, um, they've always wanted to go. Right. I seem like the most open type of girl. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's rude yeah what you say. um i was like maybe i am just not with you um <laughs> and that does not turn because <laughs> apparently you're not my type yeah, but i wouldn't expect him to be at a bloody sex club 
for all of you smelly beasts out there. Today's sponsor of this podcast is for you. It's Wild Deodorant. If you don't know about Wild, I'm going to tell you. Basically, it is a natural, environmentally friendly, good for your pits deodorant. Comes in lots of nice little scents. It's a little roll on. Uh, and also the case has your own name engraved on it. How cute. So you're not going to lose it. And if you do, you're an idiot because it's got your name on it. Um, if you want 20% off your little deodorant for your pits, use the code GKWILD for your 20% off. Don't say I don't treat you. It's free shipping in the UK. So once you get your 20% off, there's no added extras and it's also sustainable. So you can feel good and so can your pits. That's a tagline if they haven't got it already. So yeah, if you're interested in trying the UK's number one deodorant, which is natural, sustainable, and it's refillable, so you're not putting extra stuff into the environment. How nice is that? GK Wild for 20% off your order on Wild Deodorant. You would never expect any of them to be a sex club. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be honest, the types yeah. of people that go are not people that you'd expect. But like, yeah, they were like, we can go. They were like, you know, we can go a couple of times. We don't have to participate for the first few. And I was like, what? I was like, I don't want to go to any. It's like a membership. Yeah. Yeah, it is. They were like, don't worry. We'll go to, like, we'll make sure we go to really exclusive ones. Nothing comes out. I was like, listen, take, take no. Take yeah, the hint. as the answer. Yeah. You I'm, still I'm went good. though. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't. I am open to going, just not with him. <laughs> oh, so that's, that's mad. Sorry. That whole thing. I can't believe that. See, I couldn't. And then allegations started to come out. And then I was like, oh. That explains the cheating allegations. Yeah, but I just, oh, yeah. Nice guys, not always nice guys. Oh my God. Do you know what? I feel like to go to a sex party, I'd have to be either just extremely blackout drunk so that I couldn't smell anything or like see anything. Because I think that would be a lot. I've not even considered the smell. No, the smell be fucking rank. You've literally traumatized yeah. me. <laughs> like, I've not even considered I'd that. I'd be like, why is the seat wet? And be like, oh, that's why. Now I'm just thinking about every time a seat was wet in Love Island. <laughs> no, that actually also probably was the situation as well. That hideaway was stained. Do you know what? I don't think that many people... Well, no, actually, when I was there, no action really happened. So. Do you get scared? Right, so say if you're going into the hideaway, you know it's going to be filmed. Would you still shag in there? I wouldn't. That's just because my mum would absolutely bury me. Oh, yeah. Did your mum care that you went on Love Island or what? Neither of my parents knew what it was. But so, you're like, don't Google it. Yeah, I was like, maybe you don't watch it. Yeah, especially not the first season. Just don't. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. God. I, I was like, just don't watch it. I was like, it'd be fine. It'd be good. Yeah. Um, so I, I wouldn't just because my parents would bury me. And then I, the son wrote an article saying I was the first person to get down and dirty in the villa. No. What? Yeah, because I snogged Aaron in bed. Oh, please. It was a cheeky snog. They not seen what was it? There's a cheeky finger going on next year and they reported on that. Yeah. That's disgusting. And I, I'm apparently the first one to get down and dirty. <laughs> wow. I bet your mum was like, what? Oh, uh, do you know what? They turned the volume up on the kissing. No one kisses no, that loudly. I was thinking this. The kissing on Love Island is fucking disgraceful. It's disgusting. They've turned the volume up. I swear. I've like when you're in the bedroom and it's people moist. are like getting on it. Yeah. You can hear it, but even like if I'm if you're in the bed next to me, I can't hear it as loudly as you can on TV. Uh, so I know they've turned the volume up. That's so. Do you have to wear your mics to bed? Nah. Oh, okay. There's oh. mics in the headboard. No, I'm in hot waters with Hugo at the moment. <laughs> so I had Chloe Burrows on. Mm. Made a little joke. I made a little ha ha. Do you know what I mean? I found it funny. Um, just about how his girlfriend was young. Um, we thought she was 12. She wasn't. She's 21. Anyway, he made a video. He called our podcast mid, basically. Called the number one pod in the UK mid. <laughs> I'd like to know how his views are doing. <laughs> <laughs> how are they? <laughs> Do you know what? Best. But aren't you quite close if you go? Um, so I was. Yeah. Um, and then I cut him off really abruptly. Ooh. So um, one of the islanders had a birthday. Happy we all birthday. went out yep. as usual. And, um, you know, my friends had come down from up north. They all went to some really like gross sports bar. Thank God it wasn't a sex club this time. But oh yeah. God. I don't know if it's more of an upgrade or a downgrade, <laughs> yeah, to be no, honest. To be At least the sex club's exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, So I was like, I'm not taking my mates there. They've just come away from Manchester. Yeah. 
we'll go to this club that someone I'm friends with invited us to. It was quite nice. Didn't have to queue. Didn't have to pay to Cheers. get in. Yep. Didn't have to pay for any drinks. We love to see Winner, it. winner, chicken dinner. Um, and then Hugo texted me. Um, and I had no signal because the club was like underground. Yeah. When I got back to the hotel, I'd been texting him. He called me a basic bitch for going to this club. I'd never been to it before in my life. I didn't know if it had that reputation, but I didn't pay a penny. So, you, you care. know, yeah. I didn't care. Even I had shit. a great time. Yeah, I had a um, great time. Even though it was a bit weird in there, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Right. But anyway, <laughs> um, and then I FaceTimed him because he mm. seemed quite drunk. Yeah. And he made jokes about me getting spiked. So I, and then his friend messaged me and was like, you've upset Hugo. And I was like, I don't give a fuck if I've upset, upset Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you five? Why is your mate messaging oh my me? God. Yeah, so I haven't spoken to him since. You haven't spoken to him at all no, since. No, and he well, he's apologize. tried to message me, and I don't think he knows what he's done. He doesn't. Think, you don't think he remembers? No, but if you look up, because I've messaged, I hung up, and then he messaged me again, and I told him to fuck off. So if he goes back, oh, kind so of, you know. if you go on your Instagram DMs, you'll see it, mate. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. And my friend was there, and I was in the Hilton like lobby. And I was going mental. I was calling him all sorts. I was like, you're a nasty piece of work. It's not funny. And my mate was, my mate heard the whole thing and she was like, oh my God. She was sat there like. She, well, first of all, she was more, she was Sipping terrified because yeah. I was <laughs> yeah. livid. I was absolutely seething. And I'd clearly had quite a few drinks. Mm. Um, and she was like, we need to go to our room before security get called because you're getting a bit too lively. Take your blood pressure tablets quick. Yeah. yeah. She was like, calm yeah. down. She was like, go and have a bath. <laughs> You'll be all right. Oh, wow. Well, she, ma- she bought me, ch- she made like an Uber take me to McDonald's to calm me down. True but um, yeah, literally. And then, yeah, so I haven't spoken to him since. Fucking hell. That's quite um, deep. Well, do you know, like it's not, it's, it's something that's not very funny. I mean, there's other stuff going on. Yeah. Like um, inappropriate touching, which he probably also doesn't remember. Um, so yeah. No. So I just, this is what I mean. Nice guys nice always guys. are nice. The ones that seem nice are never nice, basically. <laughs> They're hiding shit. Yeah. And it's not a massive cock. Well, I don't know, actually. I mean, I cannot confirm or deny because I wouldn't know. (laughs) I want to confirm now I haven't slept with you, go. Yeah, yeah, that I I can confirm. (laughs) Like, definitely has not happened. Fucking hell. Well, do you know what? After that, thank you for giving me an extra view on the pod. Um, I think he's given you quite a few because that TikTok that he's made the comment on has got quite a few. Kept getting tagged in it. I was like, sorry. Living in that head. Sorry for having a mid podcast. What can I do? Do you know what I mean? It's not my fault. It's all right, as long as you're getting paid. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. I'm paying my bills. Fuck you. Sorry, that was a bit aggressive. But also still fuck you. Um, anyway, we'll move on from that. I was going to say, otherwise I'm going to get myself cancelled and Hannah's head's going to peer around faster than... <laughs> so one thing I found when I was Googling you, which I do every week, um, is that you were Miss... In- is it Miss International? I'm trying to find the word. Miss International UK 2018. What? I'm only upset that you wank over me once a week, to be honest, Grace. Listen, <laughs> I'm a busy girl, all right? If I wasn't at uni, <laughs> it'd be more all frequent. The time. It might be once a day. So what is that about? When did this happen? How did you get into it? Tell me the um, two. What happened? Where was I? I was very young. Who I think I was I? like... 14, 15 when I started pageants. Oh. I was like a shell of the person I am now. Like right. very shy, wouldn't speak to anyone. And you did pageants? Yeah, well, I thought, well, fuck it. Like, got nothing to lose. Yeah. Basically, it was just a room full of other girls who felt exactly the same. Yeah. And like, just found a hobby that they enjoyed. Mm. Pageantry is a weird hobby. People don't really get it unless you do it. I used to think it was like an American thing. I didn't realize like the UK did them. Yeah, people always automatically assume it's like very toddlers and tiaras. Is it? Mm, no. Oh. I didn't get the like clip on teeth. And I the... was thinking that, but no. did, was it still quite dressy up? Like, did you have to go around and be like, my name is Sharon and I like world peace? Was that the vibe? Or That's all who doesn't want world peace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sick. <laughs> I was going to say something else, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. bastard. Um, you, mm, no, so like at the pageants, so, some of them are. Um, very young ones are. So there's quite. There are some in the UK that are very toddlers and tiaras Right. Not really my cup of tea. Yeah. Um, I did judge one once, and the amount of children that sang "Let It Go," <sighs> holding the microphone this close to their God face, forbid. really burst me eardrums. Can we let go, Frozen, please? Because that fucking film. I mean, this was a good few years ago. Yeah. A long time ago. Well, but <laughs> I'm still living. My ears are still ringing. Um, no, like. Doing so, Miss International is like the fourth biggest pageant in the world. Wow! So it's like really competitive and like 
it's, especially in other countries, it's like competing in national sport, basically. Right, okay, like the Olympics. So yeah, like I was like famous in Japan. But with like makeup. <laughs> <laughs> makeup and heels. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. That's my sport. No wonder they got invited to a sex club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like the type of girl that does it. So did you know, for the, did you know you were like gonna win? Did you have like an inkling? What, a Miss International UK? Yeah, because that's quite a big thing to win. Now, nah, if you watch the video back, it's on my Instagram. I'm actually like completely blank in the head. So I'm just stood there like, and someone said my name, someone turned around and went, you better fucking move forward. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I like slipped and then um, no. missed the step. And the photographer caught this really nice photo and it looks like I'm sprinting in a full length ball gown. And it's so funny. Get and, me like, to the crown. All my Quick. friends just started photoshopping bits in it, making it look like I'm running for like KFC <laughs> buckets and stuff like that. I was like, basically I've just turned into a meme without asking for it. Oh my God. So but what no, does I didn't that know. like do? If you, when you win that, does it open doors? Well, I did a water bottle advert in Japan, so I guess so. <laughs> it's like TikTok shop. Love that. In Fine. Japan though, that's quite sick. Yeah, so like um, I went, I was in Japan for six weeks. Went traveling around, went what? to the like, snow festivals and all that. I, did, I had a great time. Had a great time. Had a great time. Gained loads of weight, which you probably shouldn't do at a pageant. Um, <laughs> so I, like, you don't fit into the dress sushi. anymore. Yeah. Well, mine <laughs> yeah. was stretchy, so it was all... <laughs> I foresaw this moment. You knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. That's mad. Do you know what though? They didn't um, say that when you went on Love Island though. Do you know how everyone has their thing? Yeah. Like, you know, like, um, is it Michael Owen? The footballer? Yeah. Who's, like, there everyone's like, it's Michael Owen's daughter. Or like, um, when that guy went on from that band and he had to say it for him. Like, Blazing Squad. Blazing Squad, yeah. That's not a band, is it? I don't know I said band. Is it a band? Boy band, yeah. Yeah, it's a band. Um, they always make you say stuff like that multiple times. Right, so they don't make you say it, but <sighs> if you say it, they cut it to make it look like that's all you do, that's all you talk about. And right. that's why I think Gemma's so like, doesn't want to say it. Because she knows that if, she, like, if this is how I'm seeing it, she yeah. knows that if she says it, because like, I think when Zara Holland was in it, she was Miss GB, mm. and obviously Marcel was from I Blazing Squad, they might have said it like four or five times, and then they've cut it to make it look like that's all they talk about. That's so bad. But also not to toot my own trumpet, but I have so many things that, you know. You have so many things. I have things so many that. things that that's just. This pisses me off because they want to bring back Big Brother, right? It's not going to be the same. You can't drink, you can't smoke. Do you know what? I would have been way rowdier if you let me loose in the tequila. You've been drowning people in the pool. So maybe it's best they didn't maybe let you have any alcohol. Maybe we need it. <laughs> Bring in the real men. Just, <laughs> just drowning them all. I'll kill all the shit ones. They're all dead. <laughs> floating. We wouldn't have any left. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I do love some of them. You do, yeah, but it doesn't mean you fancy them. So it's fine. No, but I've openly said this to their face. So it's nothing new. <laughs> You're ugly bugly. Thank you so much. It's not that they're ugly. It's that I'd make them cry if we had got into bed together. We've so. spoken about this before. We were like, have you ever blah, blah? And you were like, no, because I would make them cry. I would make them cry. They've, they've even agreed with me that they that I would make them cry. Are you dating uh, Chugs or Aaron? Oh, fucking hell. Clear the rumours. If I Listen, if I had a pound for every time I was asked, I would not be sat here right now. So you're not dating them then? No. Haven't dated them? No. You, that was a pause though. <laughs> Have you had intercourse with either of them? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta be Chugs. Do you reckon it's Chugs? Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is. You are. But I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you which one it is. I'll leave you to guess. But. Fuck, but well, maybe it's Aaron. Don't look at other people it's to Aaron. give you an answer. <laughs> Today's sponsor of this podcast is especially for all of you because I know if you are watching this podcast weekly, you do have mental health problems. BetterHelp is sponsoring today. It's not just a little bot that you talk to online that tells you to go and make a cup of tea or have a bath. It's professional therapy, which we all do need. BetterHelp is done securely worldwide and you get your very own therapist within 48 hours so whatever you're going through they've got your back um so yeah love that you can access weekly phone or video sessions with your therapist so you don't actually have to put your camera on if you look like me after a night out you're definitely not going to want to do that so it's a win-win. Today, we have a very special offer. If you want to use the code SAVINGGRACE at betterhelp.com, you get your first month with 10% off. Proper bargain. So yeah, everyone suffers with their mental health from time to time. Nothing to be ashamed of. And if you need a little counsellor, you don't have time in your day to go and actually physically see one, BetterHelp is for you. 
So thank you for sponsoring today's podcast. Serious shit. So <laughs> I'm in the wrong room for talking about serious, <laughs> serious shit. shit. I'm not going to lie. Let's talk spiking. So you've actually done a lot of shit though um, with spiking. Mm. How did this start? Because I remember in Nottingham, I go mm. to uni in Nottingham, if you don't know. If you don't know, where have you been? Um, but I go to uni in Notts and there was like a massive thing of people getting spiked or whatever uh, at the start of this year. And then I saw you doing loads of stuff mm. to campaign against it. How did that happen with you? So I got spiked just after the first lockdown. Right. Well, I've been spiked a couple of times, but that one was like- Fucking hell, how well, unlucky. This is the thing, like people think spiking is just a stranger. Yeah. Oh. Or, or GHB, but it's not. Right. There's loads of different ways you can spike someone. Right. But um, but you got spiked yeah. by a friend or was it- No, this one was a stranger. Um, I was in a restaurant having lunch with my friends. It was a friend's birthday. Had a couple of drinks um, and then I got taken away by an ambulance. Really? Was yeah, it not, so, what, that bad? Yeah, so I was like completely unconscious, barely breathing. Fucking hell. Um, like, you know, I've, caught, I'm a quarter Polish, right? So I, I drink a lot. You can fucking so, drink. Oh yeah, basically yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. Apart from the Asian glow, but yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, so <laughs> no one thinks it's a real thing, Asian glow. I hear it. And then I basically... Like I know how shit it can be when you have been spiked because people don't believe you. Mm -hmm. They just so, think you got too drunk. Yeah, or like it's your own fault or you were asking for it or like, you know, when secondary crime happens, people think, you know, you've changed your mind. Yeah. Um, and that's not the case. And like, you know, I grew up and live in a very student heavy area mm -hmm. um, population. So like they did a boycott. I thought I'd join in. As you because should. Yeah. I've come off Love Island. Everyone seems to want to pay attention to that. Yeah. Like, yeah. why not? You got the platform. Why not be a, like fight a good cause? Mm. Um, and then it kind of like snowballed from there. So I never actually anticipated it'd get as big as it has. Yeah. But I also didn't realize how big of a problem it was until I started. Huge. Yeah, it's massive. That's mad. And like people were just so like I completely understand because I'm exactly the same. People are so untrustworthy, untrusting mm -hmm. of like the police and the government. Yeah. And like two thousand people went to the government. The whole government. One fifteen hundred people came to me. Wow. So like, you know, it's mad that more people would rather, well, not more, but like a, a fair lot amount of people, people would speak yeah. to me, rather speak to me than to the police. Listen, Sharon. Well, yeah, I actually, I actually <laughs> read every reason. single one of them as well. And I don't That's know how mad. much the government read of theirs, but. Definitely not, they skimmed. Well, probably not. They skimmed. And I, one person, they probably had 30 people reading 100%. theirs. 100%. So what have you done when it comes to that? So, uh, wait, what do you mean? Like you, cause I know you went to, did you go to parliament? I go to parliament every day, baby. Do you? It's like, well, not every day, but I mean, I used to. It's my kink. What do you do there? It's, your, it's where the sex parties are at. <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, it's technically not that factually inaccurate. Cheese and wine, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oops, I wasn't invited to that party. Yeah, I wish I was. I was at home. <laughs> Probably <cat>. not. <laughs> you would be cancelled. <laughs> yeah, I would. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, so no, I've gone to Parliament a lot. Um, G being in possession of GHB now serves a heavier co prison sentence. Love that. Um, was it not a big one before? Five. Uh, no, so it was like two years before, now it's five. So two that's just possession. Shit. But I don't think it's gone far enough, so I'm pushing for it. Yeah, no, life them. Sorry. <laughs> well, no, the thing is, though, I said this to, to like the officials that work in the government department mm. and they were like, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, I was like, you know, if you're going to commit a really serious crime, yeah. then why are you going to care about five years? No, that's a good point. That's a good, but also I feel like if you're arguing against it, you're sus. Like you'd be surprised. You'd be very surprised. How right? many people are not as the, the, the quote unquote is lack of appetite. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I've been there for seven years and even I don't understand what the fuck that means. What? Lack of appetite. It's right, we'll all just die on the streets then yeah, instead. Don't worry about us. As long no. as you've got yeah. your cheese and wine, yeah. it's fine. As long as you got your cheese and fucking wine, you don't need to be spiked. You've got endless wine. There clearly is appetite, but you, <laughs> wouldn't, you wouldn't be eating all the fucking time. Christ. That's mad. Yeah. But do you think people didn't take you as seriously with this because you were from Love Island? Obviously you had the platform to do it. Mm, do you know what I think people forget like people automatically because they know you from Love Island mm. they automatically assume or like they just think that that is everything that you've got in your life that's it yeah like yeah. I'm 26 years old Love Island You're was always tainted with the Love Island brush and it's so fucking annoying I don't understand why can you relate yeah <laughs> I was on season four uh it was hell but no like everyone whenever you say like about Love Islander they're probably like oh they're thick as shit anyway yeah I get that a lot 
which is insane. All the time. You're actually very smart. It's all right. I'll I'd, give it to you. That's I'm it. underestim. Yeah. I'd rather be underestimated, you know, because yeah, no, I can over deliver. Yeah. Exactly. You're like, here's this, this, and this, and here's my sources. So it's just all the trolls are the same, aren't they? But do you find when you went in to talk about it with people high up, they didn't take you seriously? Uh, right. This is gonna sound well. It's not gonna. It is sound weird. Maybe really? a little bit cocky. Uh, when you look at some of the people and then you look at me, mm. do you think they took me seriously anyway? Yeah, no. Mm, yeah, yeah. So it's not. It's not anything though. That's. Oh, I hate England. It's not just England though, is it? It's What's with the everywhere. gun fingers? <laughs> like I feel like you know, if you went to boarding school and you have like little silly nicknames and they're like, oh, Chuggy. Yeah, well, that's what I thought it was, but it's not. Oh, it's not. No, How did you get the name? It's, um, a Don't hate me, Chugs. That actually wasn't a dig. Nah, no. I think he's. I think he'd be cool with it by now. He's not watching this, but yeah, carry on. He might do. We've <laughs> talked about him enough. <laughs> His ears are probably ringing. <laughs> he's so my. He's probably looking in the mirror going, well, that is really red. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it was a nickname from his mum. I thought it was a rugby nickname. That's what I thought originally as well. So when I first met him, I was like, eh. Chugs. It's uh, Cuddles and Hugs. <sighs> Chugs. Cuddles and Hugs. I feel sick. His real name is, his, his Christian name is. His government. His, his, no, Chugs is his government name. Swear. Wait. Chugs is his government name. On the birth certificate. On his driving license. I thought he was lying. I was like, get out right now. As soon as we like, I saw him outside, I was like, get out. Yeah, yeah. I always say, get out, Tim. He never listens. Get out. <laughs> get out. Get out. No, please. <laughs> so you haven't slept with him then, otherwise Maybe you would have. have seen it. Fuck. I thought we were calling you out. <laughs> Shit. Next week, let me know. <laughs> no, next <laughs> week. What's going to happen between now and next week? It's been sunny weather. People are more open to shit. Do you know what I mean? They're in a good mood. Hot girl summer has officially begun. Hot girl summer is fucking here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, love that. Um, wow, well, I think we should do a say it or shot it. My first say it or shot it mm. is, um, that is a fucking big shot glass. Don't worry, I'll only do half. Uh, people think you're boring. <sighs> Could have started with an easy one though. Do I have to? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Eye contact. Eye contact. Sorry. Was, was it ten years sex bad sex with Aaron or Chugs? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Am I shorting as well? Yeah, cool. <laughs> mm. oh, I hate this drink. Thank you though, Chloe. Um, <laughs> no, but I can confirm you're not boring. I feel like your um, Love Island made you dirty. Made you dirty? Made you dirty. <laughs> Love Island didn't need, I did made myself dirty. dirty. Oh, <laughs> I don't did need Love Island to make dirty. me dirty. Um, yeah, but <coughs> everyone's given a character to play, aren't they? Are you? Yeah, everyone's a character. So they went, Leave vanilla. Listen, if you if you don't like everyone I've met in real life, like even in my series, everyone is so different how they portray. Actually, Lib is as nice in real life. Is she? She's so cute. But uh, and so is like some people are accurate. Yeah, Lib and Kaz, for example. Is Jake nice in real life or not? Well, I don't speak to him, so I wouldn't know. But um, like I was, I knew that I'd come across as the boring bitch, blah blah blah, because I'm educated and posh and of whatever course, and yeah of course. wow how many how much of this do you think has been cut out <laughs> yeah if you actually knew what this whole podcast was said was said, am i drunk already i'm so funny that i have to be cut <laughs> yeah like a turkey <laughs> like a christmas ham what the fuck it makes me die when we all come together for our like marriage hld talent um for our like we have like a yearly get together sometimes twice a year and we all just get fucked up but none of us usually like ever see each other really because we like are never in the same place mm. and then we're all just together just chatting unbelievable amounts i've not of done shit. the summer one yet have you not well, that was, was my first show. one. Oh shit no the football so christmas was, on. was my first one <laughs> well done because <laughs> that was wild izzy was passed out i've never moved so fast can i say this yes when izzy said izzy was like i'm gonna phone my ex and she dialed the number and i went no she's not and i grabbed the phone i've never moved so quick in my fucking life izzy is izzy will die on this hill she'll be like do you know what fuck it it won't know if i do it once i'm like izzy this is the hundredth time this month <laughs> she literally was work. like she was like I, I was like i was like who are you calling she's like my ex i went not on my fucking watch you in i grabbed his <laughs> yeah. phone and i've no i was like, i've just met this girl <laughs> no chaos I'm, I'm fighting her to get her phone i was like you can have this back when you leave <laughs> I love it. The other day, um, when when we have a drink, all common sense goes out the window. She was like, do you know what? I'm allergic to nuts, but I'm going to play a game of let's see what I can eat until it has a nut in. 
Um, ate to be a fair, cookie. I love this game. No, do we? Because I didn't. I was oh, like, oh, I enjoy this. I game. don't have an epipen, and if I did, I don't know what the fuck to do with it. She ate a cookie, had a nut. Had to go make herself sick. I'm not coming. I'm not going with you. Uh, and someone wouldn't let her. They were like, do it in the bin. They were like, why would I do it in the bin? Surely the toilet makes more sense. Yeah, they were like, she pushed in. She was like, I'm in anaphylactic shock. Do you want me to wait? Just vomit on their shoes. <sighs> Trigger warning. <laughs> I love that game. I'm allergic to peanuts, but I love chicken satay. Oh, yeah, chicken satay. <laughs> <laughs> We've only had one shot. I haven't eaten all day, by the way. Oh, good. It's a good start. <laughs> Skinny queen. No, it's just I haven't had time. Oh, right, okay. Life of an influencer. <laughs> I'm just so busy. Um, Next, what are we doing? Say it or shot say it. Say it or shot it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Next, say it or shot it is who from the seasons of Love Island have you slept with? Fucking hell. And you can say the start of their name. Or, or what it rhymes with, like... No, I'm going to... Sharon. No. Or Mugs. Oh, I think I'm good. Why did I do that? Because I actually don't want a shot. So. I can... Um, I'll tell you off camera. Mm. I won't tell you on camera. Cool. <laughs> that was now I know why dicks do that, if that's the face you're making. Because <laughs> even I went... <laughs> like, you went inwards. You were like... <laughs> <laughs> Right. Pass me it here. Say it or shot it. Mm. Do you hear my throat? Oh. What's do that? You... What's that like? Australian? Is it Australian music? I think it's um, South African. Is it? I don't know. It's on screen. Um, it's not. <laughs> um, right. Do you have someone? Oh, please answer this. Cause I can't do another shot. Okay. Do you have someone specifically that you didn't really get on with in the villa? Bit of ASMR while we wait. I'm thinking... <laughs> Was there anyone that I really didn't get on with? I don't... you know what? I'm really... Like, with people, I'm either... I either love them or I'm indifferent. Right. Really? Like, don't I just don't really I... have any... If I don't really... If, I, if they're someone's not my kind of person, <clears throat> I just don't spend time with them. But you are in a villa with them. So you have to. So I'm not taking that answer. No, nah, because there's loads of people in that villa. Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. Fine, you don't, you don't have to shot that. You know? Maybe you do. <sighs> I wish I had an answer for you because I'd say it, I've, but I don't. Yeah, ask me one. Fucking hell, put me on the spot. Um, didn't realise I had to do any hard graft in here. <sighs> I'm already it's sweating and sticking to the furniture. <laughs> we will have to peel you off. <laughs> yeah, literally. <Whoosh. laughs> it's a good thing I'm not in a bra. Yeah. I've just been in front of <laughs> fucking so chair. Um, I don't know. I'm really out of this TikTok game, you know. I mean, yeah, as you should be, really. I don't know. I, I don't know any TikTok drama at all. Do you know I don't even know really much TikTok drama, apart from the Jack Wills house. Um, but, but See, I don't even know that. Do you not? No. Well, you know a little bit now. Well, I know that bit, yeah. yeah. You have to fill me in after. Don't worry, I'll spill the tea. Okay, cool. We can we can, we can, can share all kinds of tea off camera. Sorry, guys. Gene and Phil, big up. It's fine, it's from the last podcast. I was going to say, I don't know who We called them Gene and Phil. Oh, <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is Gene and Phil? Gene is like man who can't tan. I literally, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. <sighs> have fun guessing who that is. Okay, I'll give you another one. Okay. Who'd... <laughs> You're doing a good. Do you know what, Chloe? Thanks, because I might as well just put a straw in this. Like you know, I'm normally really honest. I don't know what's going on. This camera's making me nervous. Say it or shot it. If mm. you had to choose any TV show yeah. to be on now, apart from Love Island, obviously, mm. who, what would you pick? Strictly. Really? I can't fucking dance, but it'd be funny. Oh, Strictly's good though. It's wholesome. Although apparently, who's um, who's the guy that goes seven? Graham. It's not Graham though, is no. it? No. Um, Shit. What was the question? Strictly. Yeah. Who do you want to be partnered up with? Oh, because I know Maura dated um, Giovanni. Giovanni. Apparently, allegedly, he's a cheat. Do you feel like I could see that? I could see I that. I could see that. He's a very good looking man. Put him in the villa. <laughs> He'd be like, who wants a piece? That's not his accent. What is that accent? Wow. <laughs> do you, 
you want to give me the geography on that one? <laughs> that sounded Russian, but it was not meant to be Russian. Oh, okay. It was like Davido. It was, it was well, very thanks. sexy. <laughs> I know, it's the feet. Um, <laughs> Keep your socks on with me, darling. <laughs> Fine. Um, say it or shot it. Okay. Would you rather sleep with Hugo or Dr. Alex? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, my days. <laughs> if you fucking dare shot it. No, Dr. Alex. You would. Yeah. Say it or shot it, say your most embarrassing sex story. I'm quite fortunate that I've never yeah. vomited, pissed myself or shat myself during Love sex. That. Not even so. shot. God bless. I no, I mean, I we've all I done that. I haven't done that. I haven't done that. <laughs> Do you know what? It went over my head. So if you didn't say that, I wouldn't have thought about it. Um... <laughs> I mean, everyone's, what's the, what's the word called when you like, a bit of air comes out of your... A quaif. Yeah, I've done, I mean, everyone's done that, so that's not embarrassing, but Chief I... Chief quaif, love that. Huh? I don't know why I said chief quaif. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you feel me with anything more than air, then we wouldn't have this problem, but... <laughs> um, so I was in Manchester. Yep. Um, I was out that. with my friends. Yeah. We had, uh, it was like, instead of bottomless brunch, it was bottomless dinner. Love that. I had footballer in my DM. Blue tick. Blow, blow tick. <laughs> Plenty of money. Brilliant. Um, went to their place. Yep. Hooked up with them. Very disappointing performance. Oh. Um, Can you digress? Why it was disappointing? Small peen? Let's, let's put it this way. They're overcompensating with other possessions. Uh, um, the performance wasn't great. Right. And I guess it's embarrassing. I went back for round two. I liked... I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, but... you might be having a bad day. Or I might have been just too drunk to remember. Or that. Or I probably intimidated him to the point where his dick didn't come out properly. He was shriveled. Yeah, but no. Nah. Uh, round two was not that much better. Really? Mm, yeah. I left very quickly after. I do think footballers, like, they are just not great. I don't think I'd ever sleep with a footballer because I would be scared of getting chlamydia. Obviously, you can treat it with antibiotics, so it's actually fine. But, like... Do you want to go through that hassle? I mean, I can confirm that I've never caught chlamydia. You've never had the clap? No. Nah. You're not on the right podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never caught anything. Did, but you, did someone not make you sign something going, if you haven't had the clap, you can't come on? No. <sighs> Do better, Do you know, Callum. you've just exposed everyone Do that's better, been on this Callum. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Max <laughs> created it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He brought it all to the set. Uh, on that uh, scene. Okay. So, yeah, after this podcast, I will be part of the club. Yeah. <laughs> We'll give you free antibiotics in the goodie bag. Not drugs, though. Anyway. <laughs> last say it or shot it question. Okay. <clears throat> say it or shot it. Mm. Let me think of a juicy, juicy, juice. As if you haven't already not had enough out of me. <sighs> There's always room to wring you dry. Um, if you were... Mm. No. Have you dated someone in the public eye that no one knows about? Even if it didn't work out? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Name? Wait, previous or post show? Post show. Yeah. Have you? Dated is a loose term. Right. But yeah. From the show? Not from the show? Not. Not from the show? Not from right. the show. Cool. So that narrows it down to about 50 million other people. Um, so that's good. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Narrowing it down to the rest of the population of <laughs> Earth. <laughs> Anyone with a blue tick on Instagram. <laughs> All the footballers, possibly. Someone's got I mean, they're very active in DMs, so yeah. Maybe you had a lot of footballers in your DMs. Uh, how much do you define as a lot? I mean, I haven't even had one, so I feel like one's, I yeah. reckon when you get the blue tick, you might be there. Woohoo! That's the only reason I want the blue tick. That was a joke. You want to catch the clap. <laughs> <laughs> I need it again, I miss it. <laughs> want my goodie bag of pills. <laughs> The weekends aren't the same. Oh, how have you not been cancelled this podcast yet? <laughs> well, soon come. Do you have a drink? I do. We do one last shot. Okay. Okay. Cheers to that. Learn something new every day. Oh, right. Thank you for coming on. Do you have enough content that's not been cut? Yeah, I think so. Thank you for coming on. Hope you had fun. I did until I see the Sun articles about it. Cool. Uh, <laughs> include me and my full government name so I can get the tick. Thank you. Um, 
Thank you for watching. If you're watching the episode, give it a like and subscribe. And if you're listening, give it a five-star review and maybe a cheeky follow if you're feeling a bit naughty. Thanks.